Hey everyone, breaking news is the Korean Peninsula might be prepared to break out into all-out full-scale peace. Um, recently a book fell on my head and I, I only had my shelf to blame. Hey. But the blame for the inability to agree to a peace deal for the past 60 odd years, well, it's very long and complicated and largely above the pay grade of our current generation of politicians. Most recently, though, President Trump has been very keen to sort out a peace deal as a grand plot twist to his reality TV series in the White House. Actually, when it comes to President Trump and Kim Jong-un, there's more of a will-they-won't-they they thing akin to Ross and Rachel from Friends. That show was presumably syndicated in North Korea under the title Enemies, given that it's based in New York. Anyway, what's been going on in Korea, you ask? Well, a few weeks back, Kim said that he was ready to finally denuclearize and give peace a chance. Then everyone agreed and said it was a good idea, and then it emerged that his nuclear site had already blown itself in an accident anyway, and that was why he was suddenly coming to the table. Then both Mike Pence and John Bolton mentioned Libya, and even people with as little knowledge of the outside world as North Korea are very aware that Libya gave up its weapons, then the Americans organised for Colonel Gaddafi to be executed as part of a, quote, populist uprising. Going back to that TV show analogy, it's a bit like if Trump had made jokey references to The Walking Dead, or if Kim had asked President Trump if he enjoyed that House of Cards episode where Kevin Spacey gets shot. Where are they now then? Well, North Korea is no longer a proper threat and they'd quite like to go back to where they were a few years ago, you know, with access to oil and food and medicine. And South Korea would probably quite like to have access to some of the North Korean slave labour manufacturing facilities and logging production sites again. So with any luck, the situation will revert to where we were about 30 years ago, you know, when America also had a popular screen entertainer as a president. Anyway, see you next week.